Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your hands. Just thank the Lord for this wonderful opportunity. Father, we thank you for the blessing we have in you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. amen. Number eight. Islands are waiting for people who are going to bring about supernatural church growth. So the islands are going to wait for somebody who will bring about church growth. Amen. Isaiah 60 and verse number 1. Arise and shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Amen. And the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together. They come to see. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from far. And thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together. And thine heart shall fear and be enlarged. Amen. Amen. Because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, and the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. All they come from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance upon, thine, upon mine order, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me. Surely what? The isles shall wait for me. Beautiful. And the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver, their gold, to the name of the Lord God. Now, notice verse number four and number five. All right? He says, lift up your eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. Right? And they come to thee. So you are somebody whom people are going to gather to come and listen to. Amen. This speaks of supernatural church growth. They gather themselves and they come to thee. Thy sons and shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. So as you see me, my sons and daughters have come to Barbados from far. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. People you see singing are daughters. 
nest, nurtured, nursing to be nurtured at thy side. Verse 5. For then thou shalt see and flow together. Wow. And thine heart shall fear and be enlarged. Because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. And the forces or the strength of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. People who don't know God, the Gentile nations, they will come to you. So supernatural church growth is going to take place as part of the prophecy that the island shall wait for thee. Islands are going to wait from verse 4 for somebody, from verse 4, for somebody, he says, lift your eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together to come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Is it beautiful? beautiful. People are going to gather to come and listen to you preaching. And thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. This is the prediction and the prophecy of church growth as we see it in the Bible. Supernatural gatherings of crowds of people, of people, gatherings of crowds of people coming to listen, coming to hear, and to be healed. Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 2. The word that Isaiah saw concerning the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. All nations. Not even one island is going to be left out of this great church group. Not even one island is going to be left out of this invasion. We are going to gather sons and daughters from every island. You see, the devil thinks that he has trapped people on islands and that we can't come there. Are you listening to me? It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. So the Lord's house is called the mountain of the Lord's house. And the mountain of the Lord's house will be established in the top of the mountain. So church is going to be, this is the church age. Church is going to be the big thing. Yeah? Church is going to be the big thing. If you are into church things, you will see that you've chosen the right job. It's true. Unless you don't believe the Bible. It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord has. Now, you need to see Swiss mountains. You know, I, 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 um, some, I was in Canada and they were trying to take me to go and see mountains. I told them I'm from Switzerland. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I told them, you, you are talking to a Swiss man. 
I never knew how powerful mountains were till I started climbing some of the big Swiss ones. Yes. And you find out that they have plaques on the mountains to show who came here first. You seen it? Yes. Wow. Wow. You'll be there for a holiday. You see? You see? As people in the Caribbean, your daily life is on the beach. So your holiday will be in the mountains. Look, it's early. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Your daily life is where? <laughs> On the beach. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's when I went to some of the mountains that I saw how majestic and awesome they are. Human beings cannot easily go there. So the church is called a mountain. Look at it. It shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord's house. So the Lord's house is called a mountain. Now among the mountains, there are senior mountains. That is why when the, I was in Canada and they were trying to take me to the mountains, I told them I won't go. Because where I'm coming from, there are senior mountains. I don't need to see a Canadian mountain. Yes, I'm from Switzerland. Let's be serious. And then when I saw the mountains, I said, These are hills. These are hills. <laughs> Nameless hills. Even my iPad, you see, the, the, the picture there is, is a mountain. Yes, I'll show you. It's a mountain. Don't come here. Hey. It's a mountain. It's a mountain. Wow. The mountain of the Lord's house. The mountain of the Lord's house. It means the greatness of the Lord's house will be established. If you join church building and church growing projects, you have joined a winning team. Yes. Yes. In Ghana, in Ghana, just in Ghana, not all over the world, but we can also take all over the world if you like. Since the church began, I've seen many businesses shut down and disappear completely. Shops, businesses, car dealers, banks. Mention it, telephone, uh, internet cafes. Internet cafes, uh, uh, telephone, supermarkets, private call centers, internet cafe. Do you know internet cafe? It has all closed down, isn't it? All of those things have closed down. Why do you need internet? Everybody has. Wow. Banks. Huge American banks collapsed, gone, disappeared. But the church still marches on. So those who are into church work, you've chosen the right one. You see, when I was younger, I used to go with my father to horse racing. Yes, my father loved horses. He was always buying horses. 
he, he, gave, he always gave them exotic names. And one day he bought a horse called Selavi. It means that's life. Yeah. Selavi. When he came, hello? When he, when he brought the horse, he won. And then the next year, they said, no, it's not a normal horse. <laughs> so when we start the race, everybody will start here. And Salavi will start about 50 meters behind. Yes. What a horse. So people were backing this side. And most people said, Cannot Tel Aviv cannot make it, cannot catch. You see, so Tel Aviv is like the church, the, where, where people see the position of the church. They feel that it cannot catch with all the other businesses and the banks that are. They look far more glorious and glamorous ahead. Yes. But you see, there is a prophecy you must believe. It shall come to pass in the last days. That the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. So, Selavi was taken to the back. And the, you know how the race goes? They start from here. And we are in the middle here in the grandstand. We are watching. And they start from here. And they come this way. And they pass us. And they go around. And they come all the way around. And then they come back in front of us. You see them. So, the white the red flag is up for the fourth, it was always the fourth race. Fourth race of the day. All the, all the horses were like businesses, banks, <laughs> tele, right. phone company, malls, supermarkets, yeah. internet cafes. They were all lined up and the church was far at the back. Yeah. Every, nobody had hope for Tel Aviv. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Suddenly we heard that day they said, there they go, there they go. And they all came, we were watching. And you see about 30 horses came to pass in front of us. And after some minutes or seconds, 30 seconds, here came Selavi alone. Ah, the back. And then he was coming like this. He was coming. You see, and, and, and then they, they go like this. And they go round. And they come here. And then they go all the way and then they come again. Tel Aviv was far away. But then, gradually, you see the distance. The distance. The distance was getting smaller. It was catching. It was catching. It was catching. Uh, and you see, I could see my, my father's jockey. With the hat, you see the hat like that. You see the hat pulling, oh, scratching, scratching. Hey! People couldn't believe it. It was catching them. By the time they went all the way around and they came to the middle of the back there, then Salavi came to join them. Hey! You will be joining the leaders very soon. Because you have chosen the right thing. The, the right thing that doesn't look like the main thing. Yes. And then you see Salavi was now with them. Like they were in a line like this and they were coming. They were coming. They were coming. <laughs> Wow. wow! Then gradually, you see, and they, they will not allow him. This is the railroad. They will not allow him to come inside. 
So he went outside. So when you, you see the line of hearts like that, you see that he was outside. And gradually we saw that he started to come in front of us. Came in front, came in front, came in front, came in front, came in front. Came in front. Hey! hey! Then by the time they reached the last bend, Salafi was ahead of them. When they got to in front of us, where the monster, you see that the jockey just tell his, he just twirled his whip like that, put it here, then he took off his hat like this. Hey! From behind. That's how the mountain of the Lord's house is going to be. The banks will be behind. Internet cafes will be behind. Car dealers will be behind. Traders will be behind. But the Lord's house will be established in the top of the mountain. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Go back to your seat, please. Go back to your seat. C'est la vie, 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 Go back quickly, quickly, quickly. People will be shocked. They will be shocked. Look, so many check, so many businesses. I don't want to mention the names. I can mention 15 businesses. Huge business with glass buildings. Yes. Mighty institutions. They are nowhere. But the church, even the oldest churches, they are all there established. A church is a wealthy, you know. God's house. I will build my church. You watch and see. I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against. Isaiah 60 verse 1, quickly. What does it say? Arise. Shine. For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Verse 2. Now, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. The power of God will rise upon thee. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. But you see, this is the picture of today. Darkness shall cover the earth. The presidents, the leaders, the politicians, the dark decisions of the people who rule the nations. The wickedness of Sodom and Gomorrah. The multiplies in the world today. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. Verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Remember I told you the light, our message. The message we have. The revelation we have. 
the books we have, the messages, the preaching, the glorious gospel, they will come to the light and kings will come to the brightness of the rising. And verse 4, lift your eyes and see. All they gather themselves together. They come to thee. People are going to come. You, you will not, you, you see, when it starts to work, you will be saying, oh, no, honestly, I don't know why they are now coming. <laughs> yeah, you'll be saying, I don't know why they are now coming. You say, I've been here for a long time. I've been doing this, but I don't know. Suddenly, things here are working. I don't really know why or I don't really know what. You, it is not by your power. It's not by might. It's going to work like magic. Amen. Keep watching. Keep watching. All those who were not backing Selavi, they were disappointed that day. Yeah. They were disappointed that day. Yeah. They couldn't believe it. When they saw Selavi, the heart, the white, white and green, white and green. From far behind. Kabbalah. Zechariah chapter 8. Zechariah chapter 8. Verse 21. And he says, when he goes down, he says, And the isle shall wait for you. In Isaiah 60. So you see this island will wait for you, Isaiah 42, Isaiah 51, and Isaiah 60. He repeats that islands in particular will be waiting patiently. Yes, patiently. Because you see, it's a little more difficult. You know, the sea between the islands is big and deep and wide. That's why you don't have boats and ferries crossing easily between the islands. It's not a small sea. It's a major sea with major dragons in the sea. And a lot of dead people in these waters. Yes. A lot of dead and drowned people here. You can see. It's not a small thing. And the inhabitants of one city shall go to another saying, let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts I will go also verse 22 yea many people huh, and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord this is supernatural church growth prophesied. You see, the Bible says we are, we are come to Zion, to, to the new Jerusalem. So when you see these two words, please always know they are spiritual addresses. Jerusalem and Zion. In, in, when, you, when you see Zion or Jerusalem in Hebrews 12, it teaches us that we are where we have come to Zion, Mount Zion. To the heavenly Jerusalem, to the assembly of the saints, and to the church of the firstborn, and to the blood of sprinkling, which speaks better things than that of Abel in Hebrews 12. So it tells us that we have come to Zion, we have come to Jerusalem. So spiritually, we are in Zion, spiritually, we are in Jerusalem. So any prophecy you see with the word Jerusalem, it has something to do with you. But I don't want to mean the Old Testament. You don't believe the Old Testament. In the New Testament, when Peter, John, and others were there, they didn't have this New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke. They were the Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and the John. They didn't have anything to preach from except Isaiah and Jeremiah and so on. So people don't really understand how to preach from Isaiah, and Jeremiah, Zechariah, and so on. This one with the Mark, Matthew, and Luke, it was written 200 years after Jesus came. That it was assembled and put together, it was accepted. And one of the books almost never was accepted, the book of Revelation. They didn't want to accept it because of the animals and things in it. Yes. Many people, 
I prophesy many people into your churches. Strong nations. You see, among the island, there are strong nations which feel that we can't come here. You can't come here. You can't come here. We are an island. You can't come here. That's what they told Alexander the Great when he wanted to invade the island. They said, you can't come here. It was an island in the sea. And he built a bridge through the water. Yes. He built stones and walked on the stones into their island. They will never forget him. That's why I was called Alexander the Great. You'll be more than Alexander the Great for every island. Many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts and to pray before the Lord. Strong nations will come. In this church, you will see people from Bahamas. Bahamas, Bahamas feel they will not allow us to come there. Yes. Watch and see. You see Bahamanians here. Yes. Whatever they are called. Verse 23. Look at it. That says the Lord of hosts. In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations. Even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. That is us. We are Jews. We are the circumcision. Saying, we will go with you. For we have heard that God is with you. Amen. We will go with you. Because we have heard that God is with you. Amen. The prophecy you believe Amen. is a prophecy that you will experience. You know, one day, I told the Lord, why is it that you use me for only small things? Because as at that time in my ministry, nothing had grown. Every, I'll start this, it will be small. I'll start this, it will be small. I'll start this, it will be small. So, in fact, I was at a giving a point. I said, Lord, how come people are used for big things, but I'm only used for small things? How many have ever thought of asking God this particular question? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I said, Lord, why? It's like, 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 it's like I'm a specialist of small things. Oh, do you want to be a specialist of small things? I declare you to be a specialist of supernatural church growth. We are going to have boy bishops and girl bishops. Boy bishops and girl bishops. Look at it. Look at what he says. That says the Lord. In those days, it will come to pass that ten men will take hold out of all the languages of the nations. They will take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. Saying, all nations will. All languages. All the nations. That's why I'm here in ba Barbados. So all nations, including this country. Yes. All nations. You know, do you think I'm not happy in Ghana? Why would I come here? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like maybe I'm not happy in Ghana, so I've come to Barbados. No. No. I'm happy in Ghana. You think I don't have a car in Ghana? Ah. I have a car. Do you think my car doesn't have a CD player? Huh? Do you think it doesn't have an air condition? In yeah. My car has all these things. So why have I come here? Because of this prophecy. I have to follow the word, the light, the prophecy, the prediction 
of the word of the Lord. Go back to your seats. Number two. Number two. There is going to be, I'm talking about supernatural church growth as a result of this prophecy that the islands will wait for you people who experience church growth, supernatural church growth are going to arrive on the islands every island like church growing spiritual giants are going to arrive on each island and I'm speaking about you 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 are a surprise I say you are a surprise Go back to your seats. So, number one, there are going to be, number one, under the supernatural church growers, we are going to have nation like churches. Nation like churches. Yes. Nation like churches. Ka ba la ma Nation like churches. Yes. That's Isaiah or Micah 4, if you like Micah. Micah 4. Why not look at Micah 4? 1. It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains. Huh? And it shall be exalted above the hills. And people shall flow. 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 Please. No, no, no. Don't come behind it. Don't come behind it. Don't come behind it. Go back. Go back. Go back. People shall flow. Don't come near my 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 people, please. People shall flow. Yes. Verse 2. And many nations, you see, I'm talking about nation like churches. Nation like churches. Many what? Nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob. Fantastic. Tamalusa. We're blessed in Jesus' name. Nations shall flow. Beautiful. Let us go to the house of the God of Jacob. People shall flow. You see, people are not flowing now. But they will, go, they will start flowing. And you say, I want how that one will do You can't know how. Prophecies are fantastic. Nobody thought Israel would ever be a nation again. It was dispersed. If they were to take the people from this island, Barbados, and share them all over the world, do you think in 2,000 years you'll be able to get the same Barbadian people together? In the same way, the same accent, with their own whatever. Never. It will never happen. That's the end of the island. But that's what happened to Israel. They were taken and scattered all over the world. 
2,000 years have gone by. Then they came back 1948, 14th May. <laughs> from a reform in a country that was never there again. For 2,000 years, it was run over by the Gentiles. 2,000 years from AD 70, when Titus the Great came in and slaughtered everybody in Jerusalem, broke the walls down. That's when Jesus said, this, everything you see will be destroyed. And this place will be run over by, for the Gentiles till the end. And so the Gentiles ruled over. The last people to rule was British. British, British High Commission. They were British, British where they were people. And they, they moved out and they said, oh, okay, you people fight it, fight it amongst yourselves. That's when Derek Prince was in Jerusalem. Yeah, so they left them to fight amongst themselves. And the Israelis were able to take over. So they took the land. That's why they call it occupied territory. And that's why the people don't accept Israel. Because there were so many countries for the last 2,000 years there. Turkish, Romans, first Romans, Turks, Arabs, this, that. Every group has been in, in, in Jerusalem, in charge. That's why there are mosques there. Big mosques on the Holy Solomon's Temple. Because the Arabs were there. Texts from Turkey, Turkey, all, all those people were there. Every group comes. The last group was British. When the British saw that it was coming out, instead of them to give it to Israel, they turned their backs on Israel. And they said, oh, you are, whatever you want to do, you can do. So then the Israelis were there, and they decided to fight, decided to fight. And then they took a small piece, and they said, okay, we are here. 1948. Then all the Arabs came together and said, ah, we cannot allow Israel to be here. So Jordan, Egypt, Syria, everybody, they said, let's drive them out. When they attacked them, Israel rather pushed them back and took more territories. <laughs> yes. So that is, that is, that is the, the, the six-day war. Yeah, the six-day war. They have two big wars, the six-day war and the Yom Kippur war. So they took the back. And so when you go to Israel now, you see the bullet holes at the places. And each, you said they were here. Then when they attacked them, then they rather put them back and extended the, 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 the border. <laughs> then when they were having their Yom Kippur festival, they thought Israel would not be able to take them. And they attacked them during their festival when nobody is supposed to be working. And that's when Israel also came and took the Golan Heights, Syria, all those places and expanded it. So each time they've attacked them, they've taken more. Yeah. Well, I said they had just a small corner. There was just a small corner in Jerusalem. And said, so, okay, we are just here. You see? So it is like a miracle. Yeah. And they are still a nation. And the, the language was not spoken. Everybody was speaking Russian, German, Italian, French, English, depending on which country you are in. Then they rewrote their alphabet and wrote the language. And reassembled the language and brought people and taught the language, Israeli language again. And taught to the new people that have come that this is the language of this country. After 2,000 years. It's a wahoo. Yeah. Yeah. So, you see, and he was saying, many nations shall come and say. You see, so it's a, it's a double prophecy. It's a prophecy of Israel as a physical nation, but it's also a prophecy of the church because we are the spiritual Jerusalem and Zion. Yes, we have come to Jerusalem, to Zion, the house of the Lord, to an innumerable company of angels. Yeah, and it's like you don't even know how it can be, and that's how the church will be. You can't see how it will ever be possible, but the word of the Lord is light to our paths. It's showing us what we should invest in. So when you saw Selavi at the back, the people were saying, Selavi is going to win. And people said, hmm, Selavi cannot win. Because you see, even when they came to pass us in the grandstand, you see everybody together, like 40, 20, 30 horses, top speed. When they pass after some time, they see Selavi came alone. Meanwhile, they have already run several furlongs. And they were going, it's like, oh, Selavi there. No, but gradually, 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 caught up. That's why today you don't find certain banks, certain jobs, certain wealth is gone. But the church is there. It's getting bigger. Amen. People who despise me when I was doing church work, they are watching as it's becoming mightier. Amen. So nation-like churches are going to be born through your ministry 
And you can see all of you, different countries. We are all gathered here. Representatives from all the different countries. And you see that it's beginning to happen. Nation after nation after nation. Island after island. Island after island. Gradually, 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 gradually. Many nations shall come. And say, and say, let us go. When I was on the plane coming, Caribbean Airlines, I saw, every time we stopped, I saw nations coming on board. And they would say, how bishop, bishop. I didn't know them. But nations would say, come and let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us go to Barbados. We are going for a camp meeting. Come and shout Babanda. They said, come and let us go to the mountain of the house of the Lord. Everybody was buying tickets with aeroplanes. Because you cannot go on the sea on a ship. And they said, let us go to the house of the God of the Lord. He will teach us of his ways. We will walk in his path. For the Lord shall go forth of Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Huh? Yes, it's happening practically. Life. Nations. Nations shall come and say, Barbadian people, Bahamas, St. Lucians, Trinidadians, Jamaicans, they all said, come and let us go. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Come and let us go. Haitians, I mean, they will say, come and let us go. Wow! He will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go forth out of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Don't be discouraged. It's a prophecy that we are walking in. Yes. It's a prophecy that we are walking in. Nation like churches. Number two. Under supernatural growth, there's going to be the rise of nation like people. Nation like individuals. Wow. Hey. This is a wow. Nation like churches and nation like people. Goodness. Isaiah 60, verse 22. Meanwhile, this is the same passage where we have the aisles shall wait for thee. Isaiah 60, verse 22. Fantastic. A little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time nation like people a little one you don't know my friend you don't know my friend you don't know my friend a little one a little church a little child a little girl a little boy it will become a thousand people you know why sometimes the politicians even tolerate us who are pastors because they know that this one is a thousand people. <laughs> this man is a thousand people as you are talking to him. A little one shall become a thousand. A little one shall become a thousand. Ta la ma sha ta ta. Do you believe the word of the Lord? I want you to go from this place saying. A little one has become a thousand. A small one has become a strong nation. You see, and that is why I said we are going to give the Lord just one island as a, like a kind of a, a thank you gift. Thank you gift. It's like, you know when you travel sometimes you you may see your father or somebody love and you, you know that he has everything you don't know what to buy uh, so that's how god is like you don't know what to give him I say lord we'll give you an island or just just have a one island for there's a thank you that we just want to say thank you with one island Sixty thousand people a little one shall become a thousand a small one shall become a strong nation keep watching those of you who are laughing as I'm prophesying these things, you, you, you will see it practically happening in your lifetime. You see. Receive it. 
Yes. Sha ta la ba sha. Sit down. Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. You see, most of the time we have been in the Old Testament. I don't know why. But these are wonderful verses. Amen. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. La <laughs> mashatalaba. Remember, we just said we were going to give God a thank you gift. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. Mm. And I will multiply them. So God is about to take his pen in heaven and say times. You see, when he says multiply, times 10, times 42, times 100, times 1000, times 17, times 84. Times 104, times 96. He says, I will multiply them. And they shall not be few. Look at it. I will multiply them. And they shall not be few. I will also glorify them. And they shall not be small. Anyone who thinks you are small. God's word to you is that you shall not be small. Amen. You know, I used to say, God, what is that? Everything. You know, one day I was having Tuesday service. The Tuesday service, we are so few that we arrange chairs round. Oh. And I sit here and all the members are in roundabout. Like you can play ringa ringa roses or, <laughs> or musical chairs. So I said, Lord, how can it be? You know, a church is supposed to be arranged this way. But my church members are so few. We have to arrange them round. They shall not be small. Amen. They shall not be few. Amen. I will multiply them. Amen. 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 It's actually going to happen. You, you, it, in your lifetime Amen. you see you, you see the problem is going to be which space and then the island like which island which island yeah it's going to cause problems whenever we meet it's going to be like real crisis hotels spaces you know, yeah, where? Where is it going to be? Stadium? Yeah. They will know us, the, all the airports, they will know. When they say, they'll say, they'll say, shepherd, something, shepherd, something, something. And you answer them, so yes, we shall not be few. You answer them, so we shall not be few. It's us. It's us. You thought we were joking, eh? We look like we are fooling. We are just laughing and shouting, playing games. It's like there are small boys and girls. Keep watching. Salavi is coming from the back. Look, 
Some of you, you used to do bad things for. Like, like your life was spent doing stupid things. So now that you found the Lord, and He has told you that you shall not be few, and that He'll multiply you. Now your life has a real meaning. Yes, you are focused. Satan had planned to put you in a mortuary. How many know that Satan had planned to put you in a mortuary a long time ago? Yeah. Totally. I hear you are standing here and he's told you I'll multiply you and you shall not be few and a small one will become a thousand. What else will you do with your life? We are going to serve the Lord. Yes. Sit down. Nation like people. Verse 20. Verse 20. Their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. Or punish them. Your enemies will be punished severely. Verse 21. Beautiful. And their nobles shall be of themselves. You see, you are going to... Hello, what's the problem? Their nobles shall be of themselves. What does it mean? It means that the important people, there are going to be nobles or important people that come out of our midst like that. Their nobles shall be of themselves. And their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. You will not look far to see the prime minister or the president of your island. Right in the congregation. You will see either the prime minister or his assistant. Some years ago, I didn't know anybody who knew anybody. I didn't know anybody who knew anybody. But now I know somebody who knows somebody. I can call so many people who know somebody. In no time at all. In three seconds I can know somebody who knows somebody. Their nobles, their governors shall be, come out of their midst. You, you know important people all over. And people are going to say, well, we thought this church originated in... Uh, Barbados or Jamaica, they'll be always be confused. And we tell them, yeah, you don't know everything. You don't need to know everything. You are new. Yeah, you don't know NATO. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Their nobles shall be of themselves. I see a noble coming to pack himself in your church. And the governor shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near. And he shall approach, approach unto me. For who is this that has engaged his heart to approach unto me, saith the Lord. You see, your heart is being engaged now. God is, God is locking in your heart to his work. You see, we are not here preaching about marriage. Preaching how to get wives, how to get husband, how to have a good career, how to get money. No, who is this who has engaged his heart? To approach God. Your heart is being locked into God's work. Your heart is being flooded with the work of God. God is catching you for himself. He's arresting you for his personal endeavor. Who is this that has engaged? Like the heart is engaged. 
engaged his heart to approach God. Beautiful. Things are looking upward. How many can sense something? I can feel something, I tell you. Things are looking upward. Palona Ribash. Nation like churches. Amen. Sit down. Number, number what? No, I finished with supernatural. I'm moving to now. Number nine. Number nine. The island shall wait for prosperous people, people who have prospered. And it's going to happen. In Isaiah 60, the islands are waiting for a prosperous person. He says in verse five, then thou shalt see and flow together. And thy heart shall be enlarged. Why? Because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. And the forces of the Gentiles. What are the forces of the Gentiles? The the money that the Gentiles have. Hallelujah. The money that the Gentiles have shall come unto thee. And the multitudes of camels shall cover thee. Camel represent cars. Transportation. Cars, aeroplanes. They shall bring gold and incense. And they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. Your days of knowing only poor people are over. How many have sometimes wondered why you don't know any prosperous people? It is a prophecy. They shall come and bring gold and incense. And they so that's and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. So people who praise God will come with gold and incense. People who do what? Praise God. They shall show the praises of God and they will bring gold and incense. So people into praise and worship, praises of God will be coming around with gold and incense. Yes. Now, there is nothing like God working without him blessing the people who are working to do it. Because you, you can't even work well when you don't have money. Luke 638. Supernatural arrival of money. Luke 638. Give. It shall be given unto thee. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Running over. Shall men give into your bosom. Men are giving into my bosom. Now, let, don't move all of you here. Don't move. When I ask you a question, you just answer yes or no. Okay? Has it occurred? To you stand here. Come here. What's your name? Adrian. Adrian, stand here. Stand here. Has it occurred to you today? To give Adrian money. No. Yes, yes or no? No. 
You. No. No. No bishop. 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 You see, Luke six thirty eight. Let me check on this side. Has it occurred to you to give him money? No bishop. 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 At all. No bishop. No bishop. Somebody says at all. No bishop. No bishop. No bishop. Now, Luke six thirty eight says, "Men shall give into your bosom," like plural. Yes. Now, you see, whereas Adrian is standing here, it has not occurred to anybody to give him money. Uh So, for men to decide to give you money, to give you job, is very supernatural. You you can try and see. It doesn't occur to anybody to give. I mean, he's been shouting in the front here the whole day. I mean, no one has even looked at him and said, oh, this is a nice brother. I mean, he's singing. Do you have a wife? No wife. Which island are you from? Trinidad, Bishop. Trinidad and Tobago, Bishop. Yes. Nobody does not care. Everybody's dancing. He's singing. He's coming in front. He's doing this. No, it doesn't occur to anybody. Let me give him money. So this verse is telling us that supernaturally and beyond human reasoning, people will be deciding to give things to you and into your bosom. Into your bosom means into your bag, into your closet, into your pocket, into your place. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And how is that activated? It is activated by giving. Yes. It's amazing. The Bible is amazing. I I used to think that, oh, people always decide to give money. But I realized people don't decide to give money to nobody. I mean, as you've come to church, you are not deciding to give money to no NATO, no NATO, nobody. How old are you? 22. Give me $100. Somebody give me $100. Give give him $100. You are rich. Now, you see, when I started to do this illustration, it had not occurred to me to give this boy anything at all and i was actually surprised that it was only sharon who said at all because i thought that you would be saying not at all not at all not at all not at all but suddenly when i came here it occurred to me give him some money now supernatural and it's now hundred dollars richer I prophesy people are going to decide to give you money in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Yes. And that is why whenever there's an opportunity to give, you don't have to hold back. Because it is your opportunity to activate supernatural inflows. Supernatural harvests. Supernatural commandments to monies and rivers of gold and rivers of silver to flow into your direction. Yes. So they are going to be the arrival of Wonderful inflows of finances. Silver and gold shall be brought to you. Go back to your seats.
Huh? Everyone is your friend now. Amazing. Nobody, nobody even wanted to ask your name. And suddenly you are rich. You'll be at work when your boss will call you and say, They will say, well, What's your name again? What's your name again? Don't come near my pulpit. What's your name again? How long have you worked here? Oh, what level are you on? Level two. Accountant. Why is this one on level two? Sir, it's an oversight. Put him on level seven. Be seated. Tell somebody supernatural church growth, supernatural inflows of gold, of incense. Praises, praises of God are going to come. Amen. People who praise God will come with gold and silver to you. Yeah. One day, One day. I was uh, somewhere with a pastor and he told me, he was just chatting at dinner time and he said, He said to me, when Jimmy Swaggart had a crisis, a great man of God, he had a crisis, he decided, and everybody was lambasting him, he decided to support him. So he invited him to his church, and everybody insulted him for that. But he introduced him in the church, and he said, I want to honor this man, whatever. Now, there was a man sitting in the church. Somebody was not a serious Christian. Yeah. After the service, he called him and said, meet me at this bar. The man was a millionaire. Meet me at this bar or this place. Not a Christian place where they drink and whatever. So he said, ah, let me go and see what it's about. When the man saw him, he said, because of what you did. A, a person is not a serious Christian. Somebody who is drinking and what he said, because of what you did to honor this person. I was there. I want to give you five million dollars. Yeah. Five million dollars. Wow. Yes. Just, I saw what you did to somebody. I want to give you five million dollars. And he told me he gave all the money. He said, that's how my church is established. I use it to buy the church land. Yes. You see, you never know how minds work. Yes. You never know how minds work. What occurs to people. Why people think this way. They change their mind. They take another decision. He told me. Hmm. Favor is coming over your life. In Jesus name. Beautiful. Take out your offering. Give and it shall be given. Tomorrow morning is the last session early. And that is a very important session that I want you to, everybody must be here for that session. We start early and wow, it's going to be like fire. Ta, la, sha, ta, ta, ta. Yeah. 
You see, a time will come and I'll come here like this. Somebody will say, you know, Bishop, I don't know how many people you came with and I don't know how much is the hotel, but I'm paying for everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. One day, I went to a certain church to preach. And the pastor put me in a fantastic hotel. With the team that I came with. Now, when I went to the church, I didn't see so many people. So I was wondering, how are you going to pay these bills? He showed me this member. He pays everything. He said, you see this program we have? He pays for everything. I don't use offerings. This man. God is going to send such people. Yeah. Payers of things. Payers of things. Beautiful. You see, God knows that we are not, we are not using money to do frivolous things. You see, my mother told me something when I was young. She told me there are two types of rich people. The nouveau rich and the old rich people. She said that the people that have been rich for a certain time, they behave in a certain way. And people who are newly rich, they behave in a certain way. And she showed me that it's better to behave like the people that have been rich for a long time. She said that the queen and the royal family, they behave as people that have been rich for a long time. There are certain things they don't do. They don't drive certain things. They don't have certain way of behavior. They don't even carry money. Yes. But the newly rich people, they will go and buy one shoe for $36,000 for one pair of shoes like this. One, $36,000. Yes. I, I, I've seen it. They have a, a, a little belt costing $40,000. You don't know what it's, what it's made of. So, you see, our church is not like a... Our church is not like a newly rich... No, 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 we don't use money that way. We don't, it's, not, it's not like that. It's rich, but it's not a newly rich person. See, newly rich people, they will announce parties, doing this, so this, so... No, it's not necessary. What is necessary that the church is built? If you go to Jamaica, you can imagine the amount of money that they used to build that church. It's not a small thing. Yeah, it's not a small thing. But when you see the pastor, you see it's a simple man. He's not trying to show off some gold chains and he's trying to show some whatever and so that's a nouveau rich nouveau rich you have to behave like the royal family royal please go to bill gates you know i was in seattle once i said oh, so what car does what car does uh, bill gates use and the, the wife so the wife uses a honda civic you know a honda is small car you see that you see at the shop here the richest man in the world no my car it's honda civic a newly rich person will come with a Bentley, Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, this, four cars, seven cars, this and that. Ah. Yes. Now, I knew somebody who had a, a, a car for each day. Yeah. Yeah. They just Mercedes Benz the same. White, brown, light brown, white, blue. Red, everything. But white was for Sundays. White was for Sunday. White was used on Sundays. Brown, Monday, blue, Tuesday, like that. Do you not see the royal? How many want to behave more of a royal family type of behavior than this newly a boxer who has become rich or a footballer who has become rich or... A soccer, a striker who has suddenly scored a goal and he's got money. Ah! 
basketball players and I mean newly rich people. Nouveau rich. My, my mother told me I was small, she told me. She told me I was small, she told me. She said that they don't carry, that's why I mean I don't carry money. I never have money. I don't have anything at all. Yes. You're not, you're not serious. I don't, I don't have money. Yeah. My mother told me, if you are prosperous, you don't carry money. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. Yes. Receive royal family level of riches. How many are seeing a higher level of prosperity? Yeah. Higher, higher, higher. And it's going to come practically. Amen. Sit down. Aldi? Beautiful. Let me take your offerings. Let me receive the offering. Let me pray over the offering. Are you giving a good offering? Are you sure it's a good offering? Father, thanks for blessing everyone here today with a mighty seed and a mighty harvest. In Jesus' name, amen. Be established. 
Oh 